I've known Missy since sixth grade. So that's 14, 15 years. Uh, I've known Ryan since I was six. That's 20 plus years. Um, not to date myself, but I remember the first time Ryan told me he liked Missy. Um, literally. I remember when she said no. <laughs> I also remember when she said yes. Uh, and needless to say, I saw this coming a long, long time ago. I was in middle school, basketball player, and I saw this gorgeous hornet with like a following group with her. And I was like, what is going on? Why are they at a baseball game? <laughs> My life improved when she came in and it was honestly one of those things where when they weren't together, when Ryan was just around, it was like something was missing. And they became a package deal. And honestly, like it got to the point where with Ryan, I told him one day, I go, don't mess this up because I will take her side. <laughs> Run your cute little buns off. Hey, you. I would like to thank my partner, Marsha, for many, many years. Uh, you've done a heck of a job with Molly. <laughs> and, and I guess Ryan, too. Ryan, you have such a giving spirit. Your patience and your love has really earned you your bride. I really want to thank Paul and Jean. You guys have raised just a fabulous, fabulous daughter. And I, we, we've gotten blessed to meet her, to know her, to understand her, to the evening, and then we have a lot of fun in the next two days in the Mac and Ann. Hey, you, look around, can you hear that noise? It's a rebel sound, we got nowhere else to go. And when the sun goes down and we fill the streets, we're gonna dance till the morning, till the rebels beat. You can take everything from me. We were sitting at tryouts and we're standing there and we're kind of huddled and I said, Missy, there's Brian, he's here, he's here, turn around and say hi. And her response was, I can't turn around, I still have such a crush on him. I am so beautiful. Are you supposed to say that? <laughs> I don't know. I love you. I love you too. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> Heart beats fast, colors and colors. <laughs> Now, I don't think that there's a father of a daughter out there who doesn't worry about the man that their precious daughter will marry. Part of the problem is that we're guys. We know what guys are like, and we don't want those guys <laughs> near our daughters. I can say with God as my witness that from the day I met Ryan, I thought he was an outstanding young man and that for each day that has passed, my affection and regard for Ryan has grown. I thank you, Ryan, for making Missy's dream come true and for being the man you are. As you hear these words today, they will be also hearing them for the first time. Ryan wrote me these words, I've become a better man because of you. You challenge me and encourage me. You laugh not only at me, but with me. 
You have brought me into your family and you have embraced mine. You are the best teacher any school has ever had. You are gorgeous, brilliant, athletic, and this is the only time I'll ever admit this, but you are less directionally challenged than me. I can tell you there is no happier person on earth than me standing here right now. I love you with everything I am and everything I have. Melissa wants you to know this about Ryan. He wants what's best for me. He knows my fears, my successes, and my weaknesses. He celebrates my strengths and helps me to overcome my battles. He has an incredible family who has grown him into this compassionate, driven, and handsome young man. What I find so amazing is that Ryan builds on these same qualities and reveals other qualities that bring me into deeper love for him. I'm so grateful to God for bringing us together and for having me in mind when he created Ryan. I'm not quick to act. I think methodically. I usually need a plan to follow. I wasn't quick to let myself love or be loved, but one good thing about logical people is that they are usually reflective thinkers. And it was upon reflection that I realized I was am and always will be in love with Ryan. That Ryan take you, Melissa. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Melissa, take you, Ryan. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Ryan, you may kiss your bride. I all started yesterday with a little uh, ultimate frisbee at the TCF Bank Stadium. I also heard that no one was injured, which I was very surprised about. Also, more surprising, I learned that the U of M actually has a football team. That's, that's where they play. So we're whiffing left and right. We're not good golfers. We're trying really hard. Uh, all of a sudden, like a Derek Jeter line drive heading toward Mike and Marsha's bedroom window. And I don't think I've ever told you this story either. I'll never forget these words because Ryan said them to me and he probably didn't even think twice about it at the time, but I stopped and I was still like literally shaking. And Ryan turned to me and he goes, don't worry about it. I would have told him it was me anyway. I have a lot of wonderful memories of Missy, but one of the, my favorite memories is the two of us playing a game called Candyland, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. The card that she always wanted was the princess. Over time, when it was her turn, she would simply grab the deck, grab the princess, and say very proudly, I'm the princess. Gene and I were able to find an old uh, 
Candyland game from that era. It's inscribed with Missy, you will always be our princess. Love mom and dad. And with that, I'd like to make a toast to our princess, Missy, and to her new prince, Ryan. tell me we act alike, I get goosebumps thinking how lucky I am to have someone like you to learn from. You are the greatest influence on my life and I respect the person you are so much. I love you, Missy. Ryan, you have become a wonderful addition to our family. You are the greatest man I could have ever asked God to have Missy end up with. I have the same admiration and respect for you as I have for Missy. I have complete confidence that with your kind and thoughtful heart, you and Missy are going to have a wonderful life together and I'm so blessed to take you in as a brother. If, if we can make it half as long and make it half as happy as you guys have, we've been a success. Because we could not look up to you guys more than we do. And the way that you have raised your families, unbelievable. Everybody kept saying, Ryan, you seem so calm. Well, I didn't have anything to be nervous about because I've known I've wanted to do this, like Will said, for the last eight years. I met her and I've never taken my eyes off her and loved her so much and today I could not be happier. <laughs>